Hey, Alex Stockman here. Excited to show you how Pitch enables independent artists and concert promoters to circumvent the man and um, organize events all on their own. So I'm going to show you uh, how you get it set up and how it looks from your perspective and your attendees' perspectives. Um, so very simple. You want to give it a name um, and an event date and then choose when you need the money by. Um, and also we will select different pricing options. Uh, that allows us to do a uh, general admission and VIP ticket, um, depending on the venue or how you want it set up. Uh, that's completely optional. So here we're going to go ahead and create our sections. And for each section, we'll choose a price per person. We'll choose a minimum that needs to be met. Uh, this can be zero if, uh, there is no minimum, uh, but say you only want the concert to happen if at least 25 people join, then uh, you're able to protect yourself and no one will be charged until that minimum is met. So we're gonna charge a bit more for the VIP um, and we won't make a minimum. So we will only need to sell 25 GA tickets uh, for all the payments to be executed and transferred over to you. Um, Next, we're going to add a location. Um, this allows you to share the location directly through the app. You don't need to text everyone the address, uh, answer the same five silly questions over and over again. Um, we're going to make it auto approve so it doesn't need manual approval. And we're going to give ourselves a VIP ticket. Why not? Um, so you can upload an image or select one through our Unsplash integration. And once you create the party, it's going to prompt you to make a post to give people some context of what your party's about. Uh, here you're also able to share polls, links, images, and you have the option to make it public um, so anyone can see it before they join the event, or you can set it to private, which is the default setting where it only appears after they've joined the event. So we're gonna fire up some invitation links for the various um, ways we're gonna share this party. And this is really cool because it allows you to see where your attendees are coming from, how many views each link has gotten, who's viewed it, and, uh, and really give you uh, more detailed information on you know, what is the most effective channel for uh, getting the word out. Um, as well as some additional benefits like being able to monitor how many times links can be used and deactivate links if need be. So we're going to go ahead and share these links to our respective platforms. Here's what it looks like from a um, guest perspective. So when they click the link, they'll be presented all the information and they can check out uh, the different pricing tiers or sections in our case, GA and VIP. We're going to go ahead and sign in and you can see once they've signed in, the invitations automatically waiting for them. They hit pitch and they're able to select um, their section and join the concert. Um, so here you're able to comment on posts. As the host, you're allowed to extend any of your guests the ability to post or allow all your guests to post. Uh, for a situation like this, where it's going to be a larger event, you probably want to keep that for yourself just to share important information. Um, so now that we've joined from Baxter's device, he's actually able to make his own invitation link because within the settings of our parties, we've extended all our guests' invitations. And you can see he shared it and everyone is opening up his link. So if we go back from the host perspective, and go into the party, we can see that everyone's now joining and um, hopefully it fills up and we'll have a great time.